time to finally put this on the new fenders themselves. This won't wind everything up. Seems pretty accurate as far as the distance here now in comparison to what it was before, which was like way out here. So now that we're there, I'm um, just gonna get the holes drilled on this side. Had to get some more tape and everything. I tried to use magnets, but these are not strong enough. So, and if you use magnets and you get strong enough ones, make sure that you end up uh, putting tape on the holes just so you don't ruin your paint. Ask me how I know. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get this stuff drilled out and knock it out. And then I'm sure all of you have seen this before because I've done it on other stuff, but rib nuts pretty much just need to feed it on here. This is our rib nut gun. They make these in all shapes and sizes. Bottom and out. Place it in the hole. Get your strength going. And squeeze. And you can just simply back it out. There we go. Not going anywhere. So we got to do that for all these. Uh, let's knock it out real quick. Ta-da! Flare is on. So we got not a rub. I'll probably put because I should have brought this up a little bit more in the back, but that's okay. Um, but now, yeah, we're done. So this one, I need some clearance to the actual metal fender, just a little bit more. So we'll do that, but we'll still hit the other side. Keep it moving. Cool. So I'm gonna take the flare off, clean the inside of this up, push it out a little bit further, and then. So let's get to it.
Now we can go ahead and do the other side. Uh, our over there in the corner. So. minutes of readjusting, making the counter spot. So, get our holes drilled, get into it. This coilover is lower than the other side, so the gap here is about two and a half, three. Other side about two, so not major, but measuring up here, here, it's about the same. Um, yeah, it's about the same. So we just measure from there. To there. Thinned up. We're gonna do the same thing the other side because I forgot to do that real quick, and then we'll put the flares on. We should be done. All right, finally got the front flares on both sides. We're looking good, man. We're looking real good. Way better than what we were at before. Definitely needs to be lowered on the side. You can see right here, it's a little high, but the coilovers itself, I still gotta replace those, so we'll get there. But it looks really good. I measured everything from here to here, here to here, here to here, and so on and so forth, just to make sure everything was as close as we could get it. And man, does it show. It looks good. I don't know what I was doing last time, but it looks really good compared to what it did before. Now, I'll be happy to take side photos compared to what I was doing before, but we're there, man. This car looks completely different. Looks like crap with the fenders being the way they are, but that's all good. We'll get those painted and it'll be the same color as everything else. We still have the old ones and we still need to eventually 
put these side markers in. So we'll get there, get those. Uh, I need to make some clips for that. But um, yeah, find some placement over here again, probably right in the center. And then we'll just drill out the hole, make the little line underneath so it'll clip in and we should be set for those. So have some spare fenders in case something goes wrong, even though the holes are a little off, no big deal. But yeah, man, we're here, finally here. And this is the first video I've done actually since my PRK. So clearly my eyesight's a little bit better than what it was before, but uh, yeah, looks great, man. Love it. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.